Next day, folks, I had to do a little bit of work at home this morning, so we're not until quarter past 12. Uh, but the time I've spent whilst I have been here is to set that up. So now do you see where I'm coming from with the idea behind the black backing? Let me get up high. So how do you think that looks? From the road, that's going to look spot on, isn't it? Rochered craft bar, an artisan kitchen. I think it looks pretty good. One thing I've done wrong, though. I painted one of these Ks on the wrong side. You can really kind of notice it. So I have to fix that. Because there's going to be two of these, obviously. But, yeah, I, I freaking love it, actually. I wasn't too sure. But um, it's looking better through the camera than it is uh, close up. I suppose it's giving it a bit of perspective. Like you have stood further away. And uh, yeah, it's kind of fresh eyes kind of uh, idea, I think, looking at it through the camera. But I'm sure you'll appreciate, gents and ladders, that that is the mutts nuts. Excuse my hand, it's cold in here, it's shaking a little bit. I must close that door and put the heater on. Very pleased. I think it all looks really quite good. Just need to fettle around with the positioning of it all. And then what I'll probably do, obviously I've got to finish the sign first. This isn't where it's going to be. I just I was keen to get it laid out so we could see what it looked like. But I think what I'll do is then uh, probably hit it all with a coat of gloss spray with it in situ then take the letters off and hopefully i'll be able to see on the wood the outline of each individual letter so i'll be able to pop a couple of holes through and uh well, is that going to work and then kind of screw them on from the back that's what i'm planning on doing anyway this might be trickier than i thought mounting these i don't want to screw through the front of the letters you see it's going to ruin the finish but I suppose that's another bridge that we shall cross when we arrive at it. But I think that looks top notch, folks. If I do say so myself. If I could blow if I could reach, I'd blow my own trumpet, as they say.
think she worked, boys and girls. What do you reckon? So that's one complete, that's the big one complete, which is five meters, 760 mil, which is quite a bit really, I think, isn't it? And the next one is 4.3 meters long, so a little bit less than the other one. I think I've got enough timber to do it though. So let's start with the assembly on this one. That's the aftermath. So we've got in total 10 meters of fascia sign made out of pallet wood. These will make good uh, chocks for the log burner. They absolutely weigh a ton. That's where most of the weight is in the pallet. So uh, I might save them for my old mate Froggy. He can come and pick them up and uh, give them a chooch. Anyway, just make sure I've not forgotten anything in there. You can see that was a clean workshop two weeks ago. Right, turn that light off. Here they are. So what do you think? I reckon they look spot on. Still a bit wet. But that acrylic paint is fantastic stuff, it really is. Water it down, use it as a wash. That's basically what this has, has, has had, an acrylic wash. I think that's going to be kind of the effect we'll get when it's all done. You see that? I like it. It kind of looks blue there, doesn't it? That's a reflection off the fly zapper. So anyway... That's today's vlog in the bag, ladies and gents. Now I need to figure out, obviously, a way of securing the lettering on there. I'm going to be fixing them from the back onto each panel. But the trick is, how do we get them to remain in place while I turn the boards over and indeed secure them from the back? I think it's going to be a case of lay them out just like lightly in position and then if I go over it, because I'm going to spray lacquer it with some uh, gloss or matte gloss is that the right? matte varnish, there we go so matte varnish, because I don't want the boards to be dazzling they just want like a, a, a regular finish on them so if I do that first, then I'll remove the lettering. We should see an outline of each letter, I'm thinking. And then I can drill holes straight through, turn the whole thing over, and then start to fix from the back, one letter at a time. I think that'll work anyway. If you've got any better ideas, folks, let me know. And until the next time, cheers. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.